Hey y'all, Rhonda here. It's happy mail and just in time, a little early, for my birthday. Yeah, my birthday's tomorrow. I'm all excited. So I just got a box in from uh, Victoria Haley. She's um, also known as the Quirky Squirrel on Instagram. And so I get a lot of stuff from her and her sister. And um, anyway, they they travel all over and find all kinds of goodies. So this was just delivered, and I hope nothing's missing. I tell you, these boxes, all this is just wide open there. So hopefully nothing's nothing's missing. So let's open this up and see what we have. You guys know how much I enjoy boxes and opening. Hope everybody's doing fine. It's a beautiful day here in the Ozarks. Sun's shining and perfect. The temperature's perfect. So yeah, I tell my boss at work because I get to open a lot of the boxes, and um, I said, you know, if I ever quit my job here, I'm gonna have to go to uh, open boxes anonymous. <laughs> Because I love to open boxes. Not necessarily keep what's in them. I just like to open boxes. I don't know. Maybe that's a... I don't know what. Oh my goodness. This thing is packed full. I mean full. Let me scoot this to the side and... See if I can't get some of this... Some of this out. Let's see. Well, let me just move it all over here. My goodness. I can't remember what all I ordered and I ordered, didn't I? Alright. See if I can get you a little closer. Alright. So I love cookbooks. I mean I love cookbooks. Of course I had bakeries and I love to cook, I love to bake, and I love reading these and sharing them and, and um using the recipes out of them, you know? Uh so 275 recipes for meals without meat. I don't know if I like that or not because I like meat. <laughs> well, this looks old. Let's see if there's a, a date in these. Well, a lot of them don't, but 1943. So very cool. Golden anniversary recipes. Lone Star Gas Company. There we go, big old hunk of beef there on the front. I like that. This doesn't have a date, but... Oh, this is neat. Roasting meats, vegetables, breads. Very nice. Reliable recipes. Oh, this looks really old. Yeah, let's see here. Oh my goodness. Let's see if there's a date on this. Well, this was a dollar. 19th edition. The world's greatest baking powder. I don't see a... I don't see a date, but you can tell by the graphics that it's old. Oh my goodness. Muffins, waffles, and gingerbread. Oh, this is fabulous. And I love just to sit and read these. Let's see if there's anything back here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this has got to be really old. My goodness. All right, 20th Century Club Cookbook, Stephenville, Texas. So what is this? Dry goods, whipped jello. Everybody loves some whipped jello. Oh, this is another oldie. Oh, so it looks like they sold little ads and then put their the recipes in. Sort of kind of recipes. 
grated or cheesed cheesed eggs grate cheese over the bottom of a buttered baking dish drop eggs on this without breaking yolks pour a little cream over the eggs and cover lightly with grated cheese salt to taste cook about 15 minutes in oven <laughs> so okay this is one of those you just whatever size pan you want however many eggs you want I don't think I see any measurements <laughs> That's why I like to cook. Oh my goodness. Lemon ice cream. I love finding these little jewels in there. Oh my goodness. Still don't see a date. All right. I got to get going here. I could just uh, get into these. Oh, stationery. I wish they still, maybe they still make it like this. I don't know. Oh, pretty. There's different, uh, oh, that way. So there's different little pictures there. Very nice. And the envelopes. Anyway, I wish they made stationery like this, but, you know, nobody writes letters anymore or notes. Very nice. I think something like this would be, you know, we could make this a neat gift for a married couple or somebody that just had babies. Easy to make, good to eat. All right. This was a dollar somewhere. And this was 1976. How to be a good cook. We all need that, don't we? Oh my goodness. Look at this. All right. Moving along, moving along. 25 cents. Ugh. The graphics on these, the pictures. Ooh, everybody loves a jello mold. I wonder why they went out of out of um popularity. I think we need to bring back the jello mold. Coconut, co coconut? <laughs> coconut glamour desserts, new ideas and discoveries, recipes you'll love to make. Baker's coconut. My daughter will love this. She she loves coconut. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Salads. Gelatin ring salad. There we go. <laughs> These are approved recipes. Oh my goodness. Frito Lay favorites. Mealtime treats, dips, appetizers, and desserts with Fritos. Tomato, tomato, <laughs> sour cream casserole, barbecue kebabs, southern bean dip soup. Mmm. I don't know about that. We'll see, though. Oh, another Fritos. Cook booklet. Meatloaf. Fixing a pizza. Chili pie casserole. I could go for that one. Cowpoke beans. Oh, my. I'll have to let you know if I try some of that. The festive touch. What is this? Oh, it's just a little, like, out of a um, magazine. Oh, and here's oh, sugar, 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 chocolate crisp, buttery, so oh, buttery scotch cookies, not butterscotch cookies, buttery. All right, puddings, sauces, frosting, cakes. All right, now we have prize winning recipes American Beauty macaroni products. Oh, this one's in nice shape. Uh, 1960. It printed in the U.S. of A. Well, look at there. Look at all the noodles. These are so fun. 55 recipes for Hershey's syrup. Genuine chocolate flavor. Oh, my. Now we're talking. Ice cream. Marbled ice cream. Oh, wow. 
That's when I'll have to really investigate here. Oh my gosh. Perfect pies. All right. Everybody needs a perfect pie. Magic cream pie variations. All right. Cool and frosty. Somebody really liked that one. Frozen lemon crunch. All right. Borden's Eagle brand. 70 magic recipes. Not just any recipe, but magic recipes. Oh my gosh. Uh, I love all the pictures. Oh, and here's, uh, well, this must be another one. Borden's Eagle Brand 70 Magic Recipes. Different pictures. Hmm. Uh, love that. The Dessert Lover's Handbook. Oh my. This is Eagle Brand. All right, time to time to get with it here. Okay, what do we have here? Ice creams and cool drinks. Good housekeepings. Oh, good housekeepings. Book of ice cream and cool drinks. Ideal refreshments for any time of the year. All right, so this has the good housekeeping seal. Stamp of approval. Oh my, look at all the pictures. Uh, all right, what is this? Turn to sandwiches. We do a lot of sandwiches around here. Oh, look at the illustrations. Oh my goodness. Take alongs, picnic fashions, picnics for your crowd. When the crowd comes home, sandwich principles, bread and spreads. All right, I'm going to be like the expert. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh my goodness. Salads, desserts, pies, and candies. Knox gelatin. Oh my goodness, this is 1943. Oh my gosh. You know, if I made, just out of this little haul alone, if I made one recipe a day, Till I got through all of these, I, uh, I'd i have to live to be about 200 years old. Oh my gosh, 250 superb pies and pastries. Not fantastic, not great, but superb. 1940, oh my word. <gasps> Look, and it has each picture. Oh my loving, loving, loving this. All right, here's the holiday cookbook. 220 festive recipes for every holiday. Oh, Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, St. Patrick's Day. Well, you know, green jello. Halloween, orange jello. Christmas, red jello. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, shortcut breads, Pillsbury's best. Oh my, look at this. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Illustrated Medical and Health Encyclopedia. Yeah, buddy. <gasps> look at this. Oh my goodness. These are fabulous. Volume one. What year? Okay, volume one contains uh, copyright 1935 through 56. Oh my goodness. My dad was a physician. I was in the nursing field forever. And so I'm, I'm working on journals and things um, medical related. My daughter's going in the medical field. And so that's what I love, these pictures. Oh, my goodness. I have a lot of my dad's uh, medical equipment. And he, he built a hospital and clinic uh, many, many years ago. 
and so I have a lot of his stuff and um, anyway it's just fantastic so oh, that's funny that looks like a big old beer bottle <laughs> can you see that hang on look doesn't that look like a big beer bottle well then they're probably going to stuff a patient in there that's funny. All right. Oh. Sit on the back porch and have me some tea and biscuits and read all this. Oh, my goodness. All right. What is this? Young boys' treasures of things to do. A treasury? I can't even read. Oh, we can make a pinwheel. What else can we do? Change faces. All kinds of flags. Oh my gosh. Oh, we could double draw. This is so funny. Gossip. Happy hooligan race. Oh my god. Blind man zoo. That's going to be fun. Um, this came from Freeport, New York. The juvenile department. Well. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what else. Oh, Hamlet, Shakespeare. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is an old one. Looking for a date. Do you see a date? I don't see a date yet. Okay, come on. I know there's a page there. Come on, gently. Open up. 1920. Printed in the United States of America. The study of Shakespeare. Shakespeare. The play. Criticisms. Oh my goodness. Ah. Betty Crocker's Guide to Easy Entertaining. How to have guests and enjoy them. So anybody can have guests, but we want to be able to enjoy them. That's probably why nobody has company anymore, because they don't enjoy their guests. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't see a date, but oh my. If you can't enjoy your guest, enjoy the food. <sighs> Love it. Okay, we're almost done. Maybe. Oh, what is this? She said she put some extras in here. Recipes for delicious butterscotch. Oh, the Toll House. Oh my goodness. This is Nordic Ware. Decorating Made Easy, Pillsbury, Vermont Recipes. See, I think I ordered these. Food of Mexico. Oh my goodness, Sour Cream. Sing a Song of Salads. Okay. English Muffins. Oh my gosh. Here we go. The New Jello Book of Surprise. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? 1930. Oh my goodness. Look at the pictures. Very elegant. Oh my goodness. Uh -uh -uh. 89 recipes sure to su succeed. Oh my goodness, look at this. What is this one? Um, from Chicago. I don't know, it doesn't have a date. Good things to eat. That looks pretty scrumptious. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Betty Crocker's festive fixin' with a foreign flair. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my gosh. 
well, I'm going to have to do Betty Crocker's festive fixins with for foreign flair. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Boys fun book. Things to make and do. I guess you could do these if you were a girl. I don't know why they're not just boys. I mean, why they're just boys. 216 ways to have fun. 470 how to do it illustrations. My goodness. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that fantastic? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to scan this. Oh, and these pages, they're silky, you know, kind of slick. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a gem. Oh, beautiful illustrations. What year is this? Surely it has to say. 1945. Oh my goodness. Isn't that a beauty? All right, we're almost there. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. Oh, here's Tupperware. This product, this Tupperware product is from the kitchen of. Well, how neat. So that's some goodies you put in there. Happy Kitchen, 50 recipe cards. Oh, that's cool. And, oh, a little notepad. What are these? Homemade. These are probably like what you'd put on a jar, um, a glass jar of something. From the kitchen of. Yep, those are stickers. <laughs> She's so sweet. And some envelopes. I tell you, some of the stories that you'd hear from them, places that they go and, and crawl into, and uh, it's hilarious. Oh my gosh. They love to go to estate sales, like in the house, you know, that's on the property. So they have every all these beautiful antiques and everything, you know, the house is all set up and the price tags on everything. And, and they're like, yeah, it's beautiful stuff, but can we go out in that little building outside? And they're like, What? Because they go peek in the windows and stuff. And they're like, well, yeah, I guess. You know, the the stairs are falling in. She's like, that's okay. We'll be careful. <laughs> and they have found some gems, let me tell you. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, it's hilarious where they go. A neat little envelope. And these are, oh, little cards. Very cute. Oh, and envelopes. And Country Canning by, oh, so these are little canning lids, or labels. Those are old. Party Cake. Shh. I'm back to the fabulous fixins and the foreign flares of the flitters. <laughs> Party Cut Up Cakes. Oh, my goodness. There you go. There's a little lion with a fuzzy little tail. And the snowman. These are hilarious. Quack, quack the duck. Jerry giraffe. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Tested recipes. Successful baking. A flavor for flavor and texture. Oh my goodness. Flour, fats, liquid. You know, I think... I don't know why they don't have home ec anymore. I mean, because you learn this stuff. You learn how to sew a little bit and, and um, manage a checkbook and, you know, all those things. I was in FHA, Future Homemakers of America. I was actually an officer. I went to, um, I think I was a regional officer or area officer. I don't know what they called it. Um, I went to the National Convention in Washington, D.C., which was so much fun. But yeah, I mean, they still have FFA. So my daughter was, oh, she was Miss FFA everything, which was fabulous. Great experience. That's really cool. 
and note cards. Those are beautiful. Look at the, see the pheasant, the pheasant and all the fixings. Probably, oh, yep, yeah, in a foreign land. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. And then here, here's some more. There's some lobster and oyster, oysters. Oh my. And the envelopes. Oh, this was fabulous. Well, thanks for joining me. I love this stuff. And um, I guess I'll have to fix some fix some fabulous foreign food with flair <laughs> for all my crafty friends and invite you over. Anyway, well, uh, thanks for sharing with me and I will see you next time.